Hi, welcome to another video. So on this video, I'm going to show you how to use it. Then I'm going to tell you three things that I like about the shoe stretcher and two things that I don't like about this shoe stretcher. First, let me tell you about this particular brand. This is the Hounds Bay um, shoe stretcher. And the reason why I got this one, even though it is more expensive than a lot of the others that you see out there, is that it is made of metal. A lot of the ones that you see, these shaft and this uh, knob here are made of plastic. And when I was looking for uh, what shoe stretcher to get, I, I read a lot of reviews where these shafts uh, broke after a use or two and now that i've that i've used these on a series of shoes i can actually um, understand why that is because when you're trying to stretch your shoe there is a lot of pressure that is put here and these little threads and this little knob if this were made of plastic that that's just not going to handle it so even though this was uh, more expensive and this was uh, i believe 46 dollars and the shoe stretcher, uh, I'm sorry, the boot stretcher was $60. They're more expensive. You can get the plastic ones for uh, around 20 or so. Um, but this one is going to last a long time. And this is also a very nice, very nice wood. So very high quality construction on these Hounds Bay. I will put a link, a link uh, below to their website. Um, I don't get any uh, kickbacks or anything, so this is just because I like them. Um, so let me show you how to use it, and then I'll tell you what I like and what I don't like. So there is one stretcher, and it serves for the right foot or the left foot. It doesn't matter. And it comes with these little bump outs. So there is a round bump out, a small ellipse and a longer ellipse depending on what area how wide you want to bump it out uh, is the thing if you only have let's say right on your uh, small toe uh, is bothering you maybe you just use this if you need to stretch a wider area or a very wide area or you could use it without any uh, bump outs if you just need to overall expand the width. So the first thing, and just for this example, I'm going to use the small one. Let's say that this is the area that I'm sensitive and I want to just stretch that a little bit. So that area is right about here. You want to prepare the shoe with these shoe and boot leather stretcher uh, liquid. And this is nothing more than half water and half alcohol. So if you want to make it yourself, that's all you need. Um, isopropyl, isopropyl alcohol, 50%, 50% water. And you want to saturate that area, outside and inside. because you want the fibers of the leather to stretch and not break. You insert this, push it in. You can push this back to help you keep that in place. But you're not trying to stretch the shoe so you don't want it too tight just when it's holding firm and then you just center it and then you start twisting and you'll see the little bump out starting to form and you can um, once you see it that's that's good See if you can see that there. You can see that bump out.
and then leave that for one day. I've tried it for an hour, I've tried it for a couple hours, and it does some stretching, uh, but really to get the results that, that I want, that are good for me to just use it, um, I have found that one day is, uh, 24 hours is, is really good. Some of these, when you remove the bump out, is going to, the, the shoe stretcher is going to relax back to where it was. So you actually want to stretch it a little bit more than what you think it needs uh, for it to actually, after it relaxes, for it to have the shape that you want. And I have found um, in some shoes that I've had to like have it in this area for a day and then it bump out in another area another day to then really tailor the shape of the shoe to my foot. You may think, um, I'm going to remove it here just to talk. You may think that uh, instead of doing something like that, you may want to put several uh, bump outs at once and stretch those areas. Um, but what I have found is that if you have more than one bump out, let's say one there, another one here, uh, this just makes it too wide and it's really hard to get the stretcher into the shoe. So what I have found to work best is just to use one at a time if you, if you need it in multiple areas. And let me show you all the shoes that I've used these um, in. And that will be a good segue to tell you what I like and what I don't like about this. Which is basically what this is good for and what the limitations are. So I have used this uh, shoe stretcher on these uh, four shoes. So the first thing that I like about this is basically that it's a, a money saver. You go to the store and you try them out um, and perhaps one size is too big for you and the other one is too small. So you're trying to like find the, the best balance, but because of the shape of the shoe, it just doesn't fit you right in all places. So these shoe stretcher really saves you a lot of money because you've already paid really good money for your shoes, but they're not feeling as comfortable as they should. So what do you do with that? Buy them and not wear them or sell them when they're basically new at a loss? These really allows you to enjoy your shoes comfortably. And you can see that the shoes that I've uh, needed to use this are basically loafers. These are really hard. You don't have the laces to adjust um, the tension and how it holds. So it's really just the shape that's holding it on your foot. And what I find is that a lot of loafers, which I really like how loafers look, but they're very pointy uh, usually. And I find that they're too narrow for, for my foot. So these has actually been uh, very much of a money saver for me because it allows me to really enjoy my, my shoes that I already have. So that's the first thing that I like. The second thing that I like is that it has been really good at tailoring the shape of the shoe. This shoe here, I could not wear a whole day in the office without it being very painful by the end of the day. Um, but by using, using these uh, bump outs, I was able to really change the shape uh, from all the way back here to here. And it's a perfect fit. These, the enjoyment of these shoes is just magnitudes larger after using the shoe stretcher. So that is the second thing that I like about these um, shoe stretcher that you don't have to like just make the entire shoe uh, wider. You only need to bump out exactly where you need it to actually change the, the shape. The third thing is that I really like the tailoring that you can do or that you can actually change all of it. In some cases, 
you actually need the shape is is fine but the overall shape is is just too narrow so not only can you stretch just one little area you can actually stretch the whole shoe okay so let's get to the limitations um, a limitation that I have is so if I look at this shoe the bump out was perfect and this fits great this one the same same thing fits great so these two are unmitigated or unqualified successes this one here had two things that I needed to adjust one is the width and the other one is that this actually has a very low instep and my foot has a high instep so these arch here is very tight the stretching of the width on the toe box that worked perfectly um, but the stretching of the instep was not as good what I had to do is open up the whole width and try to stretch these as wide as possible there is no bump out on the top there is no way to like just poke these up which actually on my foot um, is really this area here that gets a lot of pressure so if there was some sort of bump out here that would have been uh, perfect for me I guess I can try drilling here I haven't tried that and put a bump out there um, since there is no bump out here no way to stretch these out what I had to do is really try to use the width to widen it here but since it's on the back it doesn't open as much let me show you how this works it's basically a screw that when you screw it in it makes the front wider so as you can see even though I have significantly opened the front the back hasn't stretched very much and when this is inside the shoe there is no way to open it this much because the shoe is not that big so with the actual limitation of it having to be inside the uh, shoe the second thing that I don't like about the stretcher is that if the area that you have to stretch is towards the back of the shoe then you have less control because the front is going to be opening much more and it's not going to allow you to open it enough for the back okay so that's the first thing that I don't like um, the instep and the other thing is actually the length with these shoe stretcher you're supposed to be able to increase the length of the shoe I bought these uh, shoes used and there are 9d just like all the other shoes but it feels it is actually a lot shorter than than the other shoes um, so much so that I that I thought even if this works perfectly it might not be good enough so what I did is I tried them and I tried to use the shoe stretching option which you put it like that and then you go back and start stretching if I were doing this for real right now I would put alcohol um, in this area here just like I did on the side so anyway you you stretch this and what I found out is that this actually um, is not really stretching it would be great if that were stretching this area here uh, because really it's just my big toe just needs a little bit more room here um, but what this actually does is this uh, part of the shoe stretcher is really held by this whole area so there is a lot of um, area that's holding this and what's actually getting stretched is the back of the shoe here so what that really is doing is is deforming 
this part here, which for a loafer, this is what's holding your foot um, in the shoe. So after trying that, the shoe is not uh, really, it doesn't feel that much longer, but now it slips out. It slips out of my foot because this area here was deformed. Um, so that's a limitation. And that then brings us to the boot uh, stretcher. When I bought these uh, boots, this was too narrow. Actually, this, the left foot was fine. It's the right foot of this um, boot that was too narrow for me. But just for illustration purposes, I just have this boot here. Um, and the way that this works is that you put it in. It's the same way. Um, push it in and then you rotate and get it to stretch. So I was able to use uh, these boot stretcher with these boots and they fit perfect now. So, Well that is it for this video. If you have any questions or comments leave them below and I'll try to answer all the uh, questions. Thanks.